Okay, as we all know, when we differentiate, we have the power, we have the product, we have the quotient, and we also have the chain loose, right? But we also have another special situation when we have a function to a function power. This right here is not a power rule situation. This right here is not an exponential situation. You have to do the following. I will show you guys two ways to approach this, right? And in the end, we'll end up with a nice formula for this. So first, we begin by saying that f and g be functions of x. And you have to prevent that the base cannot be negative. Otherwise, negative to a function, that really doesn't make that much sense. Anyway, the first way is that we will begin by saying that y equal to this, f to the g's power. Why? Because when I do that, I can take the natural log on both sides. And when we do that, we can legitimately take the power to the front so that we actually don't have a power to a power situation anymore, but rather we have a function times a function. So that's much better, right? So we see this right here is just natural log of y equals g times lnf, like that. lnf, that sounds so cool. And then we can just go ahead and do the implicit differentiation. Let's put down ddx. On the left-hand side, the derivative of ln y is first 1 over y, and we multiply by the derivative of the inside because of the chain rule. So we get dy dx. And then this right here is equal to, here we have a product, so we have to use the product rule. So I will keep the first function, which is g, and we multiply by the derivative of the second. Well, derivative of ln f is 1 over f, and then use the chain rule again, we multiply by, you can write down df dx if you would like, but in notation, I'll write down f prime. Especially when you want to come with a formula, the prime notation works out much better. And then we continue, we add the second function, which is ln f, and multiply by the derivative of the first. And the derivative of g, we will just write this down as g prime, like this. In the end, we see that to isolate dy dx, we will just have to multiply y on both sides. And remember, it's the entire right-hand side right here. And the y and 1 over y will cancel. And now we see the dy dx, which is going to be the answer for that, right? Because we say this is y, dy dx is the derivative of this. This right here is going to be, first, we have the y in blue. And if you look back, y is exactly f to the g's power. Put it down again then. So put down f to the g's power, a function to a function power. And then you are going to put this together. I will just write it as g times f prime over f. And then right here, uh, you should put a g prime first. So I'll just put on plus g prime times ln f like that. And that's it, right? So this right here will be the answer for, well, it would be a formula when you have a function to a function power. It's not easy to remember, so I think it might be better if you just do this procedure so that you can get it over here when you have a function to a function power. But if you remember this, of course, use it, right? Anyway, the second way is going to be the following. Notice, this right here is rather bizarre because the base right here is a function, it's f, right? And in general, when we want to differentiate, we would like to work with space e. And that's actually true in calculus. You want to work with space e most of the time. So I will look at the base, which is f right here. So I'll just say, OK, how can I write f as e to the something? Well, we know e and l and cancel. If you put on e, it's OK. Just take the natural log and then put the f right here. And then e and ln, they will cancel each other out. That's pretty much it. So let me just write this down again right here for you guys. When we differentiate f to the g's power, and because we know f is e to the ln f, right? This is the jet, and perhaps you can put a parenthesis. And then you're just going to put this right here for the base now, which is e to the ln f, right? And then don't forget, you still have to take that raised to the g's power. So I'll put this in another parenthesis, raise that to the g's power like this. Well, well, we see that right here, the base is legitimately the nice number e. Well, this is power to a power. We can multiply the powers. So I'm still doing algebra. So let's write down d, dx. And we have e for the base, g times 
LNF for the power like this, right? And now we'll be looking at this and differentiate. So here we go. You don't need to put on DDX anymore because you actually have that differentiate act differentiate action. You actually have that differentiation action in action. Yeah. Anyway, so I will first write this down because when you differentiate e to the power, you always just write that down right away. So perhaps I'll just write this down right here, which is e to the g l n f power like this parentheses, and we multiply by. Okay, here is the Prada loop situation, right? I will keep the first function, which is g times the derivative of the second. The derivative of L and F is first 1 over F, and then you multiply by perhaps this blue right here. The Chengdu says we have to multiply by the derivative of F, so that's F prime. Yeah, pretty much that part. And then you add the second function, namely L and F, and you multiply by the derivative of G, which is G prime, like this. And that's pretty much it. And notice E to the G L and F is just that, which is that, which is that, which is the original. This right here, put it back as f to the g's power then. So in the end, I'll just write everything down right here. This is f to the g's power, and then all this, it's pretty much, I'll just put it on like that. So it's, this is g times f prime over f, and then you add g prime times ln f, like that. Right? So, this is pretty much it, and you guys can leave a comment down below and let me know which kind of approach that you guys like better. Would you like to just call this to be y and then take the natural log on both sides, or would you like to write the base as e to the something and then just work with this? Anyway, leave a comment down below, and if you guys are new to my channel, be sure to subscribe, and if you like this video, be sure to give it a like. Thank you guys so much, and as always, that's it.